This is Narayan Reddy from Narayana Technologies. So today's our topic is data mining architecture, KDD process, and uh, algorithms uh, which are mostly used in our data mining applications. Say so, if you let's observe this, uh, this is called as uh, Arctic Rock data mining. So we already given that in the earlier video, previous video, what is data mining and uh, applications of data mining and disadvantages of data mining. So in this mechanism, if we just observe this one, we have this is uh, some data is there. Uh, this is called as some data. Whatever data is available in the database here, uh, from this database location, it will be going to selecting the targeted requirement. So we'll select the information from this database. So after uh, selecting this target data, then it will be going to pre-processing. Pre-processing is nothing but uh, will be just will be going to dividing the information into subsets mechanism and as well as feature evaluations mechanism here so whatever uh, pre-processed pre data is there that pre-processed data will be going to transfer after transferring this data will be going to uh, making as different kind of subsets mechanism and as well as a uh, feature selected data process mechanism from this uh, data mining processes mechanism now it will be going to mining mine is nothing but now extracting this is called entire information which is selected from the database location so by pre-processing and as well as transfer here from this location will be going to extracting the data so that is by using the methods or it's a patterns mechanism we'll be going to applying some kind of data mining uh, methods and then some kind of data mining classification some kind of data mining uh, things so this is called as some clustered information will be there so it's nothing but clusters are nothing but dividing your information into the subsets mechanism so that is uh, once it is divided that is uh, is uh, applying data mining technique the data mining techniques will be going to applying some kind of methods or some kind of patterns or some kind of classifications here using that uh, methods or uh, classifications uh, the data will be going to uh, evaluate that information integrate and as well as evaluate that information that is called as a knowledge discovery mechanism and uh, will be going to generating an action as per the user requirement it is going to evaluate your information this is called as entire architecture of your data mining process here now generally the data mining process uh, is also used to known as a kdd process so kdd is nothing but a knowledge discovery in databases data mining is also known as kdd process is nothing but knowledge discovery in database process the kdd is the process of uh, finding useful information and uh, patterns in data so the kdd will be going to identifying or finding the useful information from the existing uh, data location and uh, patterns applying the patterns uh, in data the kdd process uh, will be like this here problem formulation so it's nothing but uh, whatever the requirement of uh, query is given by the user as per the requirement uh, that is uh, will be formulate is nothing but evaluate what the user is expecting uh, from this uh, data mining location here so then second one is called as uh, collecting the data as per the user requirement uh, collecting the data so whatever user is given the query according to the user given query mechanism it will be going to identifying uh, the identifying what user is given the problem and according to that it will formalize once formalize this one it will collect the data while collecting the data it will be going to dividing into subset data and uh, feature selection data process here. and then after uh, next one is a uh, pre-processing so in this pre-processing mechanism it will be going to is happening some as we explained the previous video mechanism so data cleaning process data cleaning process is nothing but the name address cleaning or duplicate removal things or supplying missing values such kind of things will be going to cleaning as per the uh, user query then another thing is called as transformation so once it is a uh, preprocessor is happened now it is going to transfer the information that is uh, mapping complex objects is nothing but mapping is nothing but integrating the complex objects whatever uh, the data is expecting by the user that is time series uh, data to features here then after uh, using mining task and mining methods here so we'll be going to selecting the what is the user expected requirement uh, and uh, what is a data mining method is required so based on that data mining requirement task or based on the mining method uh, it will be you have to be select 
the what you are expecting exactly here say let us for example there will be the some kind of data will be there in the database location say that is let us for example hotels information so from this hotels information you may be selecting the area nothing but uh, the people may be having same hotels in different areas or different locations you will be going to selecting uh, the location that is nothing but uh, new york or it may be some so washington or maybe so new delhi or maybe some hyderabad you will be going to selecting some uh, so what is your exact task of that particular hotel data to be retrieving or famous for something so it's famous food so like this you will be going to selecting what exactly you required so then next step is uh, evaluation what you are expected so whatever you specified the location whatever you specified the famous food according to that uh, the result will be evaluated uh, and will be going to visualizing uh, and displaying uh, uh, as per your requirement here so let us for example the, i will just give one example for all this complete information so you given the query is called as a uh, retrieving the some hotels information that is a uh, so and so location based or is it famous food based method so once you given that uh, query that is a location or is a famous uh, food whatever it is that will evaluate the problem based on that it will collect the data so in that location whether that hotel is available or not whatever you given the what is famous food that is available or not so that is going to collecting as of your requirement and uh, select that information so then it is a uh, cleaning so entire information based on your location name or based on your location address so that hotel name or address whatever it is uh, that will be going to cleaning so will be going to giving to you and whatever duplicates are there that will remove and if there are any missing are there so will be supplying that missing values uh, and will be going to retrieve once it retrieves uh, then next process what i am going to explain that uh, transformation so it will be going to collecting that related records that related objects based on the data to features so in time series based method so whatever you say given that, that location related thing the task is mining method extract that related method and result evaluation and visualize to the user so this knowledge discovery is a an iterative process is an iterative process iterative is nothing but repetitive process is nothing but whatever you given that uh, repetitively it will be going to performing your task on the database mechanism and repeat this uh, kdd process uh, and uh, so extracting your requirement as per your requirement uh, and will be going to evaluate your result and uh, visualize your information here so that is the reason kdd is an uh, iterative process here okay. In this uh, data mining, uh, we have so many kind of algorithms uh, will be implemented. Uh, there are some most uh, top 10 algorithms will be used in a uh, data mining application. So uh, where I am going to giving uh, just small what is what, what is algorithm is there and what is a simple purpose of that algorithm. Because if you want to go in depth of this algorithm, uh, we have to be discuss a lot of things are there. So that's why I will just give top 10 algorithms which are used in the implementation of data mining applications here. And what is the purpose of that one? Say let us for example we have C4.5. The main purpose of this algorithm is a constructor, a classifier in the form of a decision tree. So that is nothing but a, it will be going to dividing whatever user is given the query according to user given query it is going to classifying and uh, dividing those things uh, and will make uh, your related things uh, in a decision making or decision tree based mechanism next we have k means k means are nothing but creating k groups from set of objects so already in the previous mechanism we just explained that uh, mapping of uh, complex objects while transformation of information mapping of complex objects so that is k means uh, will be going to creating that complex objects data so from set of objects whatever set of objects is transferred so based on that it will be going to creating the groups nothing but k k groups will be going to creating so that uh, the members of a group are, are more similar so similar kind of things will be going to group into one object so different different groups is nothing but a cluster cluster are nothing but similar kind of documents are going to place it into one document that is called as one cluster mechanism similar related things are going to place into one cluster document next another one is called as a support vector mission nothing but svm this svm is a identified dimensions 
to classify the data into classes so whatever your information is there from that information data information it will be going to identify the number of dimensions to classify the data into dividing into the number of classes here next another one is so a priori is nothing but is an algorithm another algorithm this algorithm is to identify association rules and as well as apply to database containing a large number of transactions so it's nothing but uh, if there is a large number of transactions are available now this algorithm will be going to identify association rules so whatever the transaction is going to happening for that uh, transaction what are the related association rules are uh, required to be applied so that is uh, going to apply to data containing which related to the transaction those association rules which are going to transaction for this uh, large number of transactions large uh, number of transactions what you are going to doing for the transactions uh, there may be some kind of association rules or supported rules that rules will be going to identify by this process so let us for example if a transaction you were amount while transaction of your amount uh, it will be going to identify whether you are eligible for that amount transaction or whether uh, that amount uh, sufficient amounts are available or not these things associated rules will be going to checking that to check this one has to be implement uh, algorithm that algorithm is called here so a priori algorithm here next we have another algorithm is called as expectation and maximization algorithm it is uh, generally used as a clustering algorithm like k means for knowledge discovery in the previous mechanism we given that uh, k means algorithm that is going to mapping of similar kind of documents as in you know, k groups mechanism so it is also max generally used uh, as a clustering algorithm so of uh, knowledge discovery next we have another one is a uh, page rank page rank is a link analysis algorithm designed to determine the relative importance of uh, some objects linked within a network of objects so it is nothing but uh, if you going to searching some kind of information in google that is going to searching related data and is going to displaying in the page wise mechanism maybe in n number of pages your data may be available that is going to providing a, as per the pages mechanism is providing the some ranking process so there is a huge data is there for your given query and according to that is going to dividing as a number of pages as in ranking based mechanism this is a, another algorithm which is used in google search engine next boosting algorithm nothing but ada boosting algorithm so add a booster it's a boosting algorithm which construct a classifiers so classifier is nothing but dividing it so constructing that classifiers so by using the boosting algorithm next we have another large algorithm is called as knn nothing but k nearest neighbors k nearest neighbors k nearest neighbors so is class it's also a classification algorithm say let us for example already i explained that so if you are going to giving some query if you are going to giving some input like a uh, famous food that is nothing but so and so things so and so famous food if you are giving some uh, query so according to that uh, that is uh, nearly whatever say let us for example if you are giving the uh, famous food that whatever food related nearest neighbors are there so that will be going to fetching and will be going to classifying by knn algorithm or else say there will be some kind of hotels like only restaurants will be there only hotels will be there only bar and restaurants will be there only so bar restaurants and hotels will be there you are given the query is called as a restaurant so we will be going to retrieving the nearest neighbor things so that is nothing but restaurant will retrieve hotel restaurant will retrieve hotel restaurant and bars also will be retrieved that is called as nearest neighbors algorithm here so next we have another one is called as navi bys it is not a sim single algorithm it is a family of classification algorithms that we given already previous the some classification algorithms are called as knn algorithms a classification boosting or order boost algorithm is a classification so k uh, k uh, means algorithm so this is called as some of the classification algorithm so share one common assumption so this all the family of classification algorithms uh, which are used to call as a uh, navi bys algorithms mechanism next we have another one algorithm is called as hat nothing but classification and uh, regression tree it is a decision tree learning uh, technique that outputs either classifications or regression techniques 
So this is Alagata will be going to decision learning technique. It is one of the decision learning decision tree learning technique. So whatever the output which is going to providing by this algorithm, which is called as either classification, nothing but divisions process, or it is a regression. Regression is nothing but repetition trees uh, process here so this is another algorithm which is uh, used in data mining application so apart from this there are most of algorithms will be used but these are the top 10 algorithms which are used in our uh, data mining applications here next we have the another thing is called challenges of data mining so the data mining main challenging things are called as a uh, scalability nothing but measurability is going to providing according to what user is expecting as per the user expecting requirement things it has to be scalable nothing but measure and provide that kind of information dimensionality whatever user is given the input according to user input requirement it is going to splitting into different kind of dimension checking in one dimensional process and checking in another so dividing into multi-dimensional process as per your requirement complex and heterogeneous data complex is nothing but there will be some different kind of complex information will be there in the mind so this different complex data identify as per the user requirement and heterogeneous heterogeneous is nothing but not similar kind of things homogeneous and heterogeneous right so in heterogeneous there will be different different related data will be there so in different different related data it is going to fetching it is going to extracting as of your requirement related data next data quality providing uh, the quality information uh, according to user expectation data ownership and distribution so checking that whether this data is a security aspect is checking that whether this data is related to this owner or not so and verify that and distributing that information so privacy preservation this is a mostly is a security aspect here so this is a privacy checking is a owner's information or it is a business owner's people's information checking that uh, and uh, providing that information next streaming data streaming is nothing but providing this information in the order based mechanism is a sequential based mechanism here so these are some challenging tasks for this data mining applications here so users whatever we given that uh, this is uh, in the previous video we just explained that uh, what is data mining and data mining uh, applications and as well as data mining disadvantages now in this video we just given that uh, so data mining architecture and uh, data mining kdd process and uh, data mining whatever we uh, explain that uh, top most 10 algorithm and uh, these are the some of the challenging uh, task of this data mining things here so based on this one this is just only whatever we given this information it just is mostly useful for your data mining learners this is a basic information about your data mining concept so users if you like this video please like and share and for more updated videos please subscribe our channel thank you one and all